Hey everyone, you need to check out Agent CRM. It is the platform that yeah. we really wish we had before. Oh yeah, it has everything you need and their team helps you get set up. Check out Agent CRM in our description and enjoy the show. Oh yeah. It was like, you're a method. I am, but like that's not, but hey, I can turn out the lights. I'm going to do the old <laughs> crazy man cliche, but literally you are getting better <laughs> looking as you go because wow look at her i know what's going on look at thank you thank you thank you hey, 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 hey. Hang on one second oh, i love this woman she's so cool that didn't help did it sure yeah it looks <laughs> love it i was gonna say i got this now i could just turn the spotlight off and i could just be in the total dark no. I want, to look, I want to look like you guys. <laughs> That's not a good no, thing. No, no, no. You definitely don't want to do that. Mm. <laughs> I saw your little thing. I was like, this is for sports. Um, They changed genres on me. <laughs> what are we doing? So we have part of our what up is we've got a couple of different genres now with it and we do different series. Oh, okay. So this is still the what up with Rob and Chris, but we also have the sports series and we're going to be starting a mindset series. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. I've, yes. We, we're, we're getting deeper. We're getting better. We're getting deep. Awesome. We we're saw how much to get to the bottom. We saw on how top. much Pamela kicked butt and went, we need to step up our game. Damn right. <laughs> you know. We you might, you might have my. Listening and all that stuff. You may have my cat join us in a minute. She's around here somewhere. She's oh, that's good. All right. So if you'll see, she's a little gray cat, so she'll pop up in her little bed behind me. She likes to look out the window, so we crack it right there. I love it. I love it. Russ is like I'm shit. <laughs> yeah. I don't realize how much crap's in your background. You're like, oh, that's a that's why we did this. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's crap load of stuff back there. Let me tell you. Don't pay attention. Well, so. Yeah. Last time I was in Seattle with my mom yeah. and at my uncle's house. And so what you had was my uncle's kitchen behind me, I guess. And now I'm at home. But since I talked to you guys, I sold my house and we're in an apartment now. So oh, wow. Oh. we're actually, yeah, we're actually looking at houses to buy, but still in Arkansas. The market. market's crazy right now. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you, have you guys been safe with all the tornadoes and all that kind of stuff going on down there? Yeah, here we have been. Um, so where I moved from, uh, scary story or true story, um, where I moved from, which is a little town down the road called Valonia. And um, in 2011 and in 2014, three days from each other in the date. So it was like April 24th and April 27th, a tornado hit the whole town. So it hit my house the first time, 2011, and it leveled the town the second time. Missed my neighborhood barely. It, like the wind got it, but there's a ridge that was behind my neighborhood. And so the first time it jumped the ridge and hit my neighborhood and went uh, north and hit wow. the backside of our city. Okay. The second time it hit that ridge and went straight through downtown. Ooh. So we got the wind off of it and they just built the school on the other side of the ridge. And when I say ridge, I'm talking about like stone's throw from my neighborhood. Like you look oh, at my wow. back, I have, a, I have a picture of the first of the tornado coming over the ridge before it hit our house in 2011. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I was like, mm. yeah, my kids were like, you're crazy. Wow. So they're super weather watchers now. They watch the weather all the time. Yeah, especially uh, my daughter. She's super scared. Man, so, well, I'm glad you guys are doing good now. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> well, hey, folks, how is everybody doing out there? I know we're doing good. What up? What up? I know we kind of got started and just going. Pamela and us, we go way, way back. So if you so don't you know, know Pamela Hopkins, things, right? Yeah, we're not editing that out because that was a <laughs> great start to the show. Did you see me switch it? <laughs> <laughs> They're not an advertiser yet. I was <laughs> like, whoop. <laughs> I'm, I'm not giving anybody any, uh, any, any, what Another do you call it, like credit without the money. Right. You know. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> well, do you want to start off with the one way? We're going to start this off with another, I mean, even though we are having fun, we're going to have a little more fun. You ready? Oh, we yeah. just started this, this little like speed round, speed round thing where they're oh, not good at this. That's, That's the okay. Best That's the whole point. That's why we're doing it. Look at us. We're not good at this either. So it's okay. Where's my buzzer? Where's my buzzer? Hang on. I need a buzzer. I think I got, where's my stapler? 
<laughs> I love it. What's what's this buzzer thing? I know she's got a buzzer. Got a well, buzzer. you said you said speed round, so I was looking for right. my my stapler. You know, so I can like be a buzzer. Like, <laughs> you, 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 <laughs> hang on, I might have one. I don't see it. Oh, I do. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, wait, wait. All right, <laughs> got a girl. Get it. All right. I don't know how many staples we're gonna waste with this. Go ahead. Got it. All right, here we go. All right. Number one. I got it. What superpower would you not want? That's hard. Hang on. <laughs> yeah. I got it. All right. I, I do not want the superpower to smell farts before they come out of your butt. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, man. You're the, the queen. <laughs> Best answer to date. <laughs> Oh my two days. See, my bet my buzzer worked. <laughs> exactly. They brought the knowledge, the forthcoming. Oh my god. All right. <laughs> Question that's, a product, that's a product of teenage boys. Go ahead. No, and your inner three-year-old. Don't forget that. Yes. Question number two. You're a new addition to the crayon box. What color would you be and why? You said crayon? Yeah, I remember you said the boxes of crayons. Crayon. Oh, see, I'm Southern. We say crayon. Crayon. <laughs> I, was, I was like, what was a crayon box? <laughs> crayon. We're from California. It's a crayon. It's a color. crayon. What I'm from the South. It's a, it's a color box or a crayon box. Crayon. Crayon. All what right. color would I not want to be? No, what color would you be and why? Oh, what color would I be? I would be Princess Pink. And I, I can't tell you what color pink that is. It's a really pretty pink yeah. because I have this, you know, this, uh, yeah, well, I love pink. I love pink. I love purple. So I could be princess pink or princess purple. Okay. Um, I would almost say that this color particular would have like sparkles and glitter in it because I feel like that's what I choose a sparkle. Fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good. All right. Question number three. This is tough. I've just pulled this. Yeah, I know you up. did. Mixing it up. Uh, Describe the color yellow to somebody who's blind. Oh gosh, how do you do that? I don't know. We're asking you. you uh, describe the color yellow. Okay, so I right, on. This is tough. When I read it, I'm like, I gotta ask. Oh, here she got an answer. I got maybe. <laughs> okay, so if I had to describe the color yellow to somebody who is blind, I would say close your eyes, look right into a light, and blink because you know they can't see the light, but they can see the. No, I guess I can't. I don't know. <laughs> right. That's actually a that. great analogy. I was, great I was thinking, yeah, because you know when you close your eyes, like you you know dark from light. So right. I don't know if they could tell though. Because they're blind. But that's but if I had to try to describe it, right. Maybe that would be it. I would say I go into the sun and close your eyes because you don't want to stare in the sun, whether you're blind or not blind. It's true. Yeah. I don't that's know. Really great answer. Yeah, I like it. I don't know. What did other people say? How would you describe it? That's the first time I've asked that. That one's the first time. <laughs> I'm asking you some new ones we've never asked before. So we're mixing it up for ourselves too. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. okay. Chris was like, oh, you haven't asked this. I'm all, geez. I know that was pretty hard. That was good, yeah, was though. I like okay. it. Okay. Here we go. Uh, if you could, this is going to be good. Oh, God. If you could get rid of any one state, which would it be and why? <laughs> you live in California, right? I do. Just say you it. can do get it. rid of do us. It. Not a problem. <laughs> we agree. Uh, I would probably say California. <laughs> Why though? Why? <laughs> Are you gonna, you know, the fifth? <laughs> She's gonna go. Leave the fifth. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. I'm gonna. Right. I'm gonna. Well, I don't know. I'll just leave it there. I don't want to get myself That's in me. trouble. I actually, you know, if I were to say, I, I love like Southern California. It's a nice, nice weather. But if y'all just fell off the <laughs> grid. that would just shift it over right beach there you Nevada go Nevada. just want the beach it's beautiful with the beach but you know and you guys have some i mean i have some really good friends that are from there so i can't say that i, I don't like the just beach. move us I do. into arkansas yeah just move you into arkansas well our cost of living is cheaper so there you go i've been thinking yeah. i'm looking at some stuff so arkansas well and, and i see i say that but our cost of living is going up now so yeah yeah, so quite a bit. Many people from California coming out though. <laughs> Probably <laughs> buying up all our damn real estate. We're now going to cheese. All right. We spread. No <laughs> <pun intended. laughs>
We're Sorry. not that close to San Francisco. True, true. All anyway, right. uh, Chris's favorite question. Chris loves okay. it. Does um, pineapple belong on pizza? No. He loves that. Nah. But I'm with you. Thank right. you. Thank you. I I cannot mix flavors. I cannot mix flavors. Now, the only flavors I've, I've found that I can mix is like chocolate or caramel with salt, like salted caramel. Yeah, but like, it, but my brain does not compute salt with watermelon. It does not compute pineapple with cheese. Yeah, it is, I can't do it. Chocolate do it. peanut butter. I do like chocolate, but that's too sweet. I can do two sweets. I can't do a sweet and a salty. I mean, you're too, you're putting two fruits on a piece. Is tomato a fruit? Tomato is a fruit. <laughs> but I will tell you this. So speaking of that, if the tomato sauce or the, you know, the whatever's on it, the tomato sauce on a pizza is sweet, I'll salt it. Oh. I don't, I don't like, and my spaghetti is the same way. If somebody I, makes like a sweet uh, spaghetti sauce, I have to salt it. I am the same way. I can't. Can't do it. Sweet tomatoes are not my thing. Yeah. No. <laughs> no sweet sauce. Yeah, we're twins. <laughs> can't do it. But you like it, obviously, right, Rob? Oh, I love it. You <laughs> love it. I love it. My I best know. friend, my best friend, loves it too. But we don't do that here in the Hopkins house. <laughs> no. Nice. No. <clears throat> All right. He always goes, "We could split the pizza." I'm like, "No, I don't even want the juice running over." Nope. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. This is great for a musician. Okay. <laughs> What music? It could be you, yours, whatever. But what music would you choose to play every time you walk into a room? Probably my song, "Giving a Damn Don't Go" with my outfit, or or Kid Rock's "American Badass." Hey, Amen. there we go. I love it. Uh, hey, I'm yeah. Sorry, I'm having a yeah. so <laughs> yeah. Moment. So when I was a police when I was a police officer back in the day, on oh, my yeah. way on my way to work, uh, <laughs> that was my I <laughs> song. Hell yeah, you got to get hyped up for that. Middle finger in the air. <laughs> yeah. I was flipping everybody off in the car. <laughs> yep. They didn't know because I had really dark tinted windows because it was in my personal vehicle and I was, you know, on the way to work. So, but I was like, I had my vest on and my, you know, my stuff and I'm on the way to work and I'm just like, got to play it is every day before my shift. <laughs> I like it. I like it. All right. Yeah. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Yes. Yeah. Woo. It has to be. It what is the definition of a sandwich? What's the definition of a sandwich? Two pieces of bread. Yeah. Between, meat between. between. Yes. Yeah. There's that's not two, two pieces, pieces of bun. A bun is just one. one. A hamburger is a sandwich. Okay. I'm going to ask you this question, Chris. Yes, ma'am. How poor were you growing up? Because we couldn't always afford buns. So we put it on two pieces of bread and cut the hot dog in half, brother. Oh. I did that as well. Oh, oh. it's a sandwich. It's a sandwich. <laughs> I, 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 I pick up what you're throwing down. All right, all right. There you go. All right, let's let's get into what Pamela's doing because we've we had fun. this all day. We're having a great time. Oh my god! <laughs> oh wait, thank you for that. I don't want a product place. <laughs> you're good. You're good. So okay, I'm sitting there and I go back to your website and doing my research and all that kind of good stuff. And <laughs> now she's up to, in 2021, 18 awards won. And she's already nominated for 16 awards in 2022. Yeah. You're doing better than me. I didn't count them. I just put them up there. I don't even know. <laughs> That's ridiculously phenomenal. I love it. We're talking the Josie Music Awards, the ISS a awards the arkansas country music awards and there's probably like eighty six thousand other awards that we don't know about something from sweden tokyo yeah all over the <laughs> world can you do that to no okay but anyway so i mean this is a phenomenal time for pamela hopkins yeah i'm hoping i'm hoping i'm hoping right. it picks up steam everybody needs to listen to my music Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, you know what? Let's do this real quick then. Sure. You know, I know I'm doing a Farleyism, but let's just throw it out there. Tell everybody right here, right now, where they can find all your stuff. Yeah, let's start. Because right I know where it's yeah. at, but they don't. Yeah. yeah so uh, the best place where I tell everybody that kind of catch all, because I put everything on it, which is my website. 
Um, so it's www.pamelahopkinsmusic.com. So that's H-O-P-K-I-N-S, not H-A-W-K-I-N-S. <laughs> and if you don't put Pamela and you put Pam, you won't find me. Uh, nah, I get Happy it. Pamela. So we, people try to shorten it all the time. And I'm like, and they're like, Pam Hopkins. I'm like, no, it's Pamela. Pamela Hopkins. It's the only way you're going to find me. Pamela. So can we officially right now let the secret out of the California Pamela Hopkins tour, the <gasps> end of the state tour, because she's going to come and rock her so hard that California is going to fall off and disappear. I like it. I would love it. Well, so <laughs> the funny thing is, is there is in a... Uh, um, I'm, I'm actually in contact with somebody. So, you know, I'm sponsored now by peanut butter whiskey, by screwball. Yes. Yes. So I got that sponsorship as well. Um, peanut butter whiskey, what up? Yep. I know it's so good. Shout out to screwball. I will product place that stuff. That's just good. That's right. Heck and yeah. they pay me, they pay me. So I can't, right. <laughs> yeah, I'm no. an endorsed artist now. Um, but so um, I'm in contact with one of their, um, I guess, people that do the country music stuff and it's out of california so i actually may be coming to california we know some people in uh, some venues that we could get you in contact with with them and that would be a nice fun thing for us to do yes that would be let me let me tell you where this guy because maybe you know where these places are because i don't obviously i'm not from california so let me see if i could find if you have a second um yes for you we got plenty of time <laughs> all day all night um okay let me see if this guy's name is michael harris um he said he books the moonshine flats in moonshine beach in san diego that's okay, pretty that's far. way south that's about 500 miles <laughs> that's like miles. going to uh, miami for you oh well i don't know <laughs> but if i did that first yes. and then i went north see hey that's what i'm thinking I like it because we've we got, got some crazy. We got yeah, yeah. We got some great venues up here that love country that music. That's true. Well, that we would are, be great. We would love to come do that. And are, if you had those, maybe you could book those for me, and then we can just do a tour that way. Because yeah. I'm actually going to be going to Colorado. I'm going to Uray, Colorado, and we're performing at the Wright Opera House August 27th. And um, we were trying to do, because there's some people in Arizona that was wanting me to play there, but I have to be back here that next weekend for another gig. So I'll have to go back out. Yeah, I get you. I get you. I mean, it's a long way. So we have to figure out, of course, with gas prices, logistics are horrific Oliver's, right now. I mean, Oliver's, Corey. there's a lot of little places. And then there's a couple, a few big Rain. places that we know people. Yeah. We can always let's talk. Talk, yeah. Let's we'll talk. talk. We'll talk we'll after. Talk. We gotta there. get family. Yeah, we gotta get. And I'm not opposed to going out to Arkansas and watching this girl. Yeah, because I know you guys aren't country music fans. You told me that oh, last I'm time. That's not your fan. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Pam, oh. Yes, we are. Yeah, I'm actually going to Nashville for my daughter's 21st birthday. When's that? In June. June. Uh, June 16th through the 20th, we're going to be there. I will be just looking for a vacation. Right. <laughs> so right I, I will be starting May 30th. I fly to Denmark with my mom and my son. And we're going to Denmark because my mom wanted to go a little early because I'm going to hop on a cruise for six weeks. So I'm going to be performing oh. on a cruise for six weeks in Denmark. And yeah. but it's going to transition down to Florida. Um, oh. The original the original cruise was going to be um june 5th or june 4th through july 14th and then i was going to fly back but because of the whole russia thing they moved the ship so i get to do one round in um, denmark sweden estonia we were supposed to stop in st petersburg russia they took that one off obviously yeah. um and then they're transitioning the entire cruise back down to florida so i'll be on a 13 day at that time i think i'll probably be on a 13 day transition Back. Wow. So we're stopping in one one stop in that 13 days, and it's a, a little island outside of uh, Portugal. Oh, oh yeah. um, teeny tiny cool. island. It's the only spot, apparently. I guess you can refuel. <laughs> wow. That's so. Amazing. Yeah, so we'll be. I'll be there, and then I'll be down in uh, Port Canaveral, and we do two Caribbean runs, and then I'll fly back, and then I'm here for three weeks, and then my band flies out to Guam, uh, Hawaii, and Alaska on a military tour. So, oh, that's cool. 
you know, you could always go Alaska down to California. I'm just throwing that out. Well, I could, but I looked at the flight and it actually, we fly straight to Guam. And yeah. I guess that's 14 hours ahead. So we're gone 12 days. We fly to Guam <clears throat> and then we do two oh. shows in Guam. Back to the future. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So we, <laughs> right. <laughs> so we go to Guam. Uh, we, we do two <laughs> shows and I didn't realize Guam was really close to uh, Australia. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I didn't know I'd look it up on a map. I was like, what the hell is this place? Yeah, uh, <laughs> if I remember, because I've been to Guam actually, ironically enough, I spent awesome. a week in Guam, loved it, had a great time. Um, went to Anderson Air Force Base. And That's where there. I'm going to be. So I'm going to be at two different bases. I think it's Anderson and whatever the Naval Base is there. Yeah. We do a show at the Air Force Base, a show at the Naval Base, and then they fly us to Tokyo. And we don't stay. We just fly right back down to Hawaii. <laughs> really? Oh. Yeah. And then we do two shows and two shows and I think Maui. And then uh, we fly up to Alaska or one show in Maui. We fly nice. up to Alaska to Fort Wainwright and uh, Isleson and then back home. Wow. And then I do it again in October. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, wow. Yeah. But longer. Family but longer. could go with you the whole time? No, no, no. It's military. So the only the military, place, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the only place that uh, my family can go and meet me generally is going to be Hawaii because we don't stay. Now, this first one we do stay on base because we're in Maui and not Honolulu. Um, okay. When we're in Honolulu, we stay at a hotel, so we're there right. usually five days, and so my family could fly and stay in the hotel with me. Yeah, that's awesome. Now my husband could get on base because he's former military. He's a disabled vet, so he can get on right. base. So he okay. could go technically, I guess. Yeah, right. but they're not going to fly him all over the place with me. So no, I yeah. get it. Yeah, definitely get it. And then I do it again next year, twice. I do it a uh, spring break. I do yeah. Hawaii and Alaska. Like I did this spring break. And yeah. then I think of the summer, my band is, I'm thinking they're doing, they said a 4th of July track. So I think it's going to be in Europe. I think we're going to be in Rota, Spain, um, Portugal, Greece, and Italy. Yeah. Italy. <laughs> <laughs> gotta love us Diego. i was there right before covid that was a fun trip we got to go to switzerland too which is pretty cool so oh i love switzerland yeah lugano switzerland is one of my favorite cities in switzerland by the way we just st- we crazy thing um we were in sicily and we flew all the way north to switzerland and we had like an eight hour layover in zurich so we just oh. we left the airport and went walking around yeah is it came back zurich- awesome it's yeah. like you got all these modern buildings <clears throat> and you take a left and you got all these streets look like they're still in the 1940s like cobblestone yeah yeah oh it God. was cool they had like these little uh what do you call it and i might have some on my website if you look at my military tours if you go all the way down to the bottom when we were in europe i want to say they're like almost like little carts that had ever like just carts everywhere and i guess they could close them down yeah but they were stationary and they were all like in the square or whatever so you could shop for whatever they had carolers on every corner it was really cool stuff that we don't really see much here no, not so and i was like oh that's pretty cool they're out there like choir singers you know like, oh, yeah. like it was their job <laughs> so what i really cool. liked about zurich was or switzerland just in general is the closer you were to the other countries not only did they speak german but they also spoke the other languages of the other countries fluently yeah. so if you want to not that smart <laughs> not that smart but they would speak italian and they would speak german and broken english so which was cool was i was trying to speak broken italian to um, somebody in Ghana, and I was like, "Oh wait, I'm in the wrong country." And oh no, no, you're good, you're good. Like, oh, you speak better english than i do. So that was the fun part. Of course, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see i had a problem when i did a ship tour when i did i was on in europe for a month um and I oh that was ship. Ship. <laughs> ship. oh <laughs> shit ship. Ship i thought you said he on the end things. tour ship, <laughs> ship. <laughs> it was when i did the the cruise line and we arrived right before covid on that summer yeah. i took my son who's now 17 with me for a month but we were you know every day you're in a we did the mediterranean so we'd be yeah. in spain which my spanish is decent i can get a I, I can say a few words and i can understand a lot of what they're saying if they slow down um italian i'm not good at it at all french i'm not good at it at all but i would start to pick up a little bit of italian and then we'd go to france <laughs> i couldn't remember where i was i'd start speaking in italian 
you know, asking for something. My son's looking at me. He's like, mom, you're in France, <laughs> you're in a different country. And I'm like, right. oh, you probably don't understand what I'm saying. Cause do you understand English? <laughs> it's, it's, it's fun to do it. Because you learn how to say, give me yeah. gelato. <laughs> gelato in the different countries. I love it. <laughs> I need ice cream, please. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So let, let's talk about, um, so it's the last time we talked to you. There's a lot that's happened. A lot of the awards that, have you been writing a lot more? I and have. New yeah. stuff coming out? Okay, that's what I want to, yeah. where, where yeah. has the music taken you? What are you trying to share to your community in what you're speaking in out of your songs? So my next song, and actually I was throwing some, uh, what? <laughs> I know this he, is right. He's out of his songs, just so you know. Okay. <laughs> Big songs. Uh, so, so my next song, I think is going to be a song called Straight Shooter. It's almost finished. And I threw some background vocals on it today. I can tell you, and I'm going to just give you this little insight. Um, I don't hear background vocals in my own voice, and I don't know why. When I hear myself sing, I can't hear the background vocals. So I struggle to do my own background vocals. Okay. Now, if you're singing, I can harmonize with you all day long. If I'm singing and listening back, I, I suck. <laughs> so, wow. You just got invited to be on the album? There you go. All right. <laughs> you have no idea how much trouble you're in with that thing. Well, so my next song Give is called... <laughs> My next song is called uh, Straight Shooter, though. So um, I think that's the next one I'm going to release. And it's like I said, it's almost done. And it's about, it's kind of got the double, um, it's kind of clever, I guess I would say, because you think straight shooter, because what, what is it that I shoot? Peanut butter whiskey. Yeah, so I shoot whiskey. Well, so, <laughs> so it talks well, about, uh, yeah. So I talk about being like, uh, basically being in a bar because, you know, it's where I work and I, I observe and um this song's totally about me so it's about me being a straight shooter as far as like not drinking other stuff and as well as being somebody who tells you like it is so you know i'm always one of those people like uh that says you don't want your, you don't want my opinion don't ask because i might tell you <laughs> and i'm gonna be honest i'm not gonna lie to you um it may hurt your feelings but i try not to you know, you know but, um, a, lot of, a lot of people like that so they're gonna connect really yeah. well to that do you get a lot of feedback from fans um like on my facebook page i do um i wish they'd go to my website and just leave messages and send me messages but oh it's um, on now you you don't realize we're gonna be this is really <laughs> Bob from, no. well because you could just send me a message at any time and when i get messages you know i do respond and so if they if they're on my um my instagram or my facebook if somebody says i love this song or whatever i respond even back to my youtube if people leave messages i do respond back um i said thank you or you know luckily knock on wood i haven't had very many hateful things said I i'm waiting for the day to come i guess i'm not well liked enough yet because that hasn't happened right. <laughs> for some yeah. of go you, you know suck <laughs> Oh my right. god. But so uh, I these awards, sucker. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> my son one time, he's 21. We got into an argument. He's like, Yeah, my friends think your your music sucks. And I went, <laughs> I don't care what your 20 year old Consider the like. source. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I was well, like, like really 21, come on, but still. Yeah. Well, like, oh, he's he just was saying it just to be yeah. hateful. And I just looked at him, I was like. I mean, I'm up for awards, so apparently they don't know what they're talking about. So, okay. Yeah. He, he sucks at making those Starbucks. Yeah. <laughs> right. He sucks, he sucks right. bagging my groceries. That's what I, I kind of was like, um, and who are these people? <laughs> Why do I care? Oh, I mean, no, are they buying my album? Eyes with it. Right. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think I had like some kind of clever something because I was just like, whatever and i just said something smart ass back but uh so straight shooters next um and then me being me is probably going to come out sometime near in the future ones that we are working on in the studio right now is uh last tequila night and uh it's about people that i see in the bar so it talks about this woman you know dancing on the bar stool thinking she was bulletproof you know and all that Bam. Stuff. Oh. Has, has a lipstick all over her face when she's done she ends up in handcuffs and getting arrested it's kind of a fun song but called Those last tequila night sticks. come yeah. on get it right <laughs> yeah so that one uh we're working on the studio right now and then i've got um burn it down i've got probably gosh 12 titles that i'm going to be doing over the next year right. year and a half two years so burn it down Are you keeping a lot really close to you theme wise Right. So who is you? 
um, Who Is You is kind of like a play off of the giving a damn don't go with my outfit because it talks about a uh, true story by the way <laughs> and you see like who is you what does that mean um it talks about a particular type of person who may or may not have uh been like oh my god you wrote give it a damn don't go with my outfit just for me like that's my theme song and then crap went sour i don't know why i don't know what happened but for some reason now she don't like me anymore. I don't care. And I was like, oh, the who I was writing about, the who is you. Uh, yeah. So if you know the, the words to uh, giving a damn, don't go mouth fit, it talks about that small town person talking, you know, smack. And she's like, Cause this person felt like, you know, well, everybody talks smack about her. And you wrote, that's my theme song. You got to get a little, and I was like, okay. And then she started acting a certain way. I was like, oh, I was writing about you. The who is you. So the name of the song is called Who Is You? <laughs> I love it. It's a fun one. So yeah, Burn It Down, Who Is You? Uh, the Hell, uh, Raise Some Hell in Me is another one. It's about my dad. Um, those are all, a lot of them are, you know, they hit home. They're about me or about somebody close I know or a story that I had to kind of twist a little bit to make it into a song, like the song Burn It Down. Burn It Down is uh, about a woman who was married for a very long time and her best friend she found out was, uh, sleeping with her husband and had this affair with her husband for years and so the woman finally said you know what you can have him but you're not going to have anything I built because I will burn that bitch down and she does she burns the house down to the ground and does and you can have him see all this no you ain't getting that they don't I like it. <laughs> yeah so it was of course that didn't really happen but I know that was in her head <laughs> true story though right except the fire the actual fire but in my song she burned it down <laughs> that benatar of country that's right there you go <laughs> i love that too look at that her smile i love that benatar. That's exactly oh, that's right, right. Yep. that's right i love it what is um like you're hitting a lot of goals probably that you you, you, didn't, you didn't even consider when you started writing right is there a stretch that you really want to get is there something you really want out of your career um, well, I, you know, I would say my overall goal, my overall goal, if I could say that word right, I, I really want to, you know, tour like with big names. Yeah. That would be my overall, like, that would be my goal. Um, I don't necessarily, and I just tell people like this, uh, I would not necessarily want to be somebody like Carrie Underwood where I can't even go outside my house without paparazzi there. When I want to be able to go to a movie with my husband or do stuff with my friends. And if somebody says, oh my gosh, that's Pam, you know, I'll sign an autograph or whatever, but, um, I don't want to be so overwhelmed known that I can't enjoy my life. That makes sense. It does. So touring and having, making a sustainable living probably with my music outside of live performing, you know, what they call mailbox money, you know, or you're writing and writing for other people. You know, I'd love to write for other, other artists that are making stuff famous and then they can have that, that total fame life. I just want like a little bit, yeah, yeah. just enough to where if I have like a little following, in a certain area that they're like, ah, she's here, you know, um, and maybe that's 200 people, 250 people in a small venue, you know, that are paying for a ticket to come see me that I would be happy with that. Okay. You know, Absolutely. if I could open for Garth Brooks, that would be great too, because I don't know how, I mean, there was a little kid. I just went to the Garth Brooks concert and, uh, the guy's name was something Mitchell. He did three songs and he was scared out of his mind. He got up there with his little guitar and you're talking about 72,000 people. Wow. in an arena in Arkansas at the Razorback Stadium and he got it and did three songs <laughs> he started crying at the end he was like thank y'all so much for being you know I know you didn't come to see me but thank you for making me feel like you did nice. you know he did his little three songs and I, I looked at his his, his uh, Instagram before and his Instagram after and he only like went up a thousand people <laughs> so like I'm okay with that <laughs> you're like perfect yep. <laughs> so I don't want to blow up with like 250,000 just I know. Uh, perform for 72,000. A thousand of you follow me. I'm good. There we go. <laughs> so I'm going to ask you three questions in succession. They're a little bit more in depth. You're going to ask the, questions? Yeah, I am. I know. Oh, Hard to sweet. believe. Awesome. Uh, okay. So, you ready? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Do I need my buzzer? Hey, dude. All right. Here we go. <laughs> no, you don't need. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do well? I sing well. Yes, I she, love it. Yes, good. She does. I do other things well that I cannot tell you on a podcast. 
Yes, ma'am. So the after show. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> I can only tell you the feedback I've gotten. That's all I can say. <laughs> there you go. Can we get the source? <laughs> sure. Can <laughs> we go get it? <laughs> no, ma'am. No, ma'am. I don't want to get in trouble by him. <laughs> Woo. He'll reach through this. And, yeah, anyway. He's so cool. What? Do you know? <laughs> what? What do you do? I just asked you, what do you do well? What would you do differently? You got me flabbergasted. <laughs> what would I do differently? Yeah. I would have started my journey 10 years earlier, mm-hmm. maybe 15. I think that if I could go back and do it again, of course, I don't think I was ready. And I, I'm really a true believer that the, the universe or what have you, your higher power, whatever you want to call your higher power, um, guides you if you allow. And I don't think that was my time. So I, I don't know if I wasn't hearing or if it literally just wasn't my time. And then it happened when it was supposed to happen, right. you know, cause I tell people, you know, they're like, well, you know, and, and it is probably where I'm different or I don't know what you want to, how you want to call it. Sometimes I don't have the words for what I'm trying to say, but um, a lot of people when they pray or what have you are like, I really want this, you know, God, just let this happen. Um, I have always been the type of person I pray for protection, you know, for the people I love and, and that, that God guide them or however they're guided, um, that they're shown what their path is. Um, for me, I've always just asked for whatever doors are to be opened to make it easy for me to go through them. Mm-hmm. And if they're not for me, close it and yeah. guide me a different way. So it's never been a, like, I really want this so bad. It's more been like doors open and I walk through them and that's what I walk towards. And I, it's almost like a gut feeling of that's where I need to be. So when I was a police officer, I felt like that's where I was supposed to be at that particular time. When the passion stopped for that, I knew it was time for me to go. Yeah. Um, I didn't stay in the career and go, you know, I'm just going to hang on another 10 years so I can retire. I was more like, you know, I got well, 11 years in, 13 years in. I'm good. Yeah. I don't have to stay another 10 because I'm just going to be miserable. And then I, maybe I'll make bad decisions and I'll end up in jail. You know, I'll cave somebody's head in or something. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> because I'll get, you know, I, I just feel like when, once your passion leaves for something and you only live one time, you know, you only live this short life. Why stay in it any longer than you have to? And if you can switch, figure out what that is and let your, your, your heart be your guide, however you want to say it, right. you know, Um, And that's just kind of always, you know, what I did. So I I, I would sit there and say, I wish I would have started it earlier, but maybe that wasn't my time. Okay. I like it. Yeah. Oh, this is though is the tough one. You ready? Um, Okay. What do you need to work on? I need to work on getting my butt out of bed earlier in the day, (laughs) the morning and getting started. I, and I know that, and probably keeping, I do better when I keep lists of crap, I got to get done the next day. So I'm a late night person. And I, when I tell myself, okay, I'm going to keep this journal. And these are things I need to get done the next day. And I plan out the night before what I want to get done the next day. I'm more productive. That makes sense. Yeah. So I I still put things off that I shouldn't, you know, like we're going towards uh, Colorado in, in August and I need to book somewhere that Thursday before to make the drive out um, affordable and, and where it makes sense to pay my players because the venue we're playing at, we're doing two 50 minute shows, 50 to 55 minute shows back to back of my original music and just a couple of covers in it. And it's at an opera house. It's like this historic opera house and they're doing like a seven o'clock show and like an eight thirty show. And their budget's very small because they're a very small community. So apparently they're not too far from Durango, Colorado. And um, so they're, they're a very small town in this historic opera house. And she's like, you know, we have a budget. And it's usually like, you know, she's like, it's usually a grand. And I'm like, that doesn't even probably pay for my gas with these prices. Mm-hmm. Like, I can't do that. So they're going to give a little bit more. But then what I'm trying to do is help them by booking something on the way as well so that I'm not shortchanging my players and going, by the way, we're traveling, you know, 18 hours across the United States and you get 200 bucks, <laughs> you yeah. know? So trying to make it a little bit more worth it. They're putting us up. My uh, cousin owns a 9,000 square foot mansion right there in the hill. And she's like, Oh, you ain't got to worry about anywhere to stay. I'll just put you right there, which is 
I got the contact. She's like, we want you here. Yeah. I was like, okay, how many days can we stay? <laughs> can we do three or four? But yeah, because I've never been there. I'd like to go check out the town. Heck yeah. That's awesome. And it's, it's a Saturday. So, you know, it's hard to book anywhere a Sunday or Monday or whatever. So well, I'll have to like a stuff in your room for you and your family. There you go. Yeah. Well, it'd be me and my band. <laughs> are you are you telling I'll me move out while you move in? I just gotta talk to my wife. That's all you know. <laughs> I'm just offering it up. Yeah. I got it. I get it. I get it. Yeah. So that's you know, I think me working on uh, more of a, just kind of scheduling and, and sticking to it. But I have a day job that I help my husband with, and so we own a company. And so we travel the state and do all the stuff for Balfour and do caps and gowns. And guess what the season is in May? It's graduation season. Here we so are. Oh, yeah. I'm giving cap and gowns out back tomorrow morning. So, yeah. 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 You do it, the caps and gowns all over the nation or just in Arkansas? Arkansas. So we have two territories. We have uh, central Arkansas. I go all the way south, almost to Louisiana. Um, and then my husband goes all the way east to almost like Memphis and he goes almost like he goes up into Missouri and back down into this little town called Rector, Arkansas. And then I go up to Huntsville, Arkansas, which is near Fayetteville. So, and then there's another rep that takes care of the Fayetteville area, Fort Smith and all of that area. And I think a little bit into Oklahoma. So we, we need two territories between the two of us. I've got about 10 schools and he's you know, eight to 10 schools depending. And we do some of them together and then he does the rest. It's his day job. I just, I'm part, part time. There you go. Because I'm a full-time musician, <laughs> so I'm a part-time day worker. But this season ends up making me work a lot, so a lot of early mornings right now. The last thing I have is um, when does the new stuff come out? I don't have a date yet. you do it. I'm putting you to it. So I don't have a date yet. So I'm hoping um, early to mid-June will be the okay. next song. Okay. Nice. nice. That's my hope. It depends on if my producer gets back. Um, his dad i think had like a heart attack or something so he had to go back home and, and help his mom with his dad so um once he gets back in the studio like almost everything's done with the next song like i said i threw some background vocals on it today which took me a long time because i like i said suck at harmonies of my own voice but uh we're ready yeah. <laughs> it's a it's a good song it's it's to where my boss who is uh my entertainment director at the club i work at I, her husband was the one helping me. They've got a little studio. And so I said, hey, I need to, to throw some background vocals on here. Can I come out? And I sent it to him yesterday. And she texted me last night. She was like, I love, and like big cat straight shooter. And she was like, amazing song. And I was like, thank you. She goes, girl, you are killing it. And I was like, I appreciate it. That's awesome. I love it. I can't wait. I can't yeah. wait. It's a good song. It's, it's, it's modern sounding. And it's, it's, a, it's a real sexy sound, I would say. All right, all That's right. Why we'd be perfect for the back? Exactly. Just look at us. <laughs> sexy voices. I'll invite y'all down to do the video. Yes. You could be yeah. holding the fruity drink, trying to hit on me in the in the club. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Hey. Well, I'm in. Yeah. I'm in on that. I like. I it. will fly anywhere for that. One. That I'm in. Mm -hmm. I'm He's in. Like, for the video. Yeah. All in. Roll those dice. Bam. Let's go. <laughs> And if you do the San Diego, that's a trip I'd hit. Yeah. That's an easy flight. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'd love right. To so if you, so where are you guys, you said San Diego Sacramento. South. So we're north about 400 five. and a half, 450. From San Diego, 500. 500 miles. Yeah. So I've, I've driven the coast. Yeah. Um, we, we did Big Sur. Yep. Um, I guess I we went through, I don't know if we're, where's Golden Gate Bridge? I know we went over the Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah. That's two hours. Went up to, went up to Eureka. We stayed the night here we go. Hours from us. Yep. That's how many hours? Seven. Eureka. Seven. Seven. The hell are you? <laughs> we're we're heading towards Tahoe. Yeah, we're in between Reno and San Francisco. Got you. Okay. You're not on the coast then. No. no. Okay. Darn. We used to live on the coast. That's though. right. Yeah. Darn. Maybe well, if you ever talk to like Bobby Bones, who's from Arkansas. Yeah. Um, I would throw my name in there because he'll get me on his show. I need to, I need to be on his show. Oh. He opened for Garth Brooks too. He's called Bob, Bobby Bones and the uh, Revenge of the Idiots or something. I can't remember the name of this. I know. I can't. Oh, I got to look that something up. Something to the Raging Idiots. Maybe it's the Raging Idiots. He's got the dumbest songs, <laughs> but they're funny. Why not? Right? I was, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. But some people were like, it was, he did like 45 minutes set before Garth Brooks. So I gave this kid three three songs and they give Bobby Bones and the Raging Idiots. <laughs> like, 45 minutes. 
<laughs> and the people next to me are like, Ugh, like I can't no, take we it. Done yet. Uh-huh. And I'm laughing my butt off. I'm like, some of this stuff's crazy. He's got one called Fanny Pack. <laughs> Oh, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta reach out to him and get him on. Get yeah, him. and then you just say, hey, there's another Arkansas girl. He's from Arkansas, but he lives in Nashville, and he's got like one of the biggest country music shows in Nashville called the Bobby Bones Show. Nice. Mm. But I can't have been able to get get it because I don't know it. So, but he can get he can get my stuff on there. there say, hey, there's, there's an Arkansas girl you need to check out. Well, yeah, and don't forget Screwball Peanut Butter Whiskey. That's right. Exactly. Yeah, just for you. Yeah. Yeah, hey, I'm gonna tell you. Wait a second. Let Let's just confirm That's something. Just good. Yes. So sexy background vocals. We're you know, in for that right here. And I am down to hit on you in a bar for a music video. I so I love it. I'll let you know. Yes, for sure. <laughs> He's like, I got you a blind end. I don't know how much the flight would be. How much the flight would be from now? I know. The matter. We'll figure well, it out. You can get it pretty cheap. Uh, if you can get to Vegas, I don't know how far you are from Vegas. Oh, well, Vegas is easy. Yeah. Okay. So from Vegas to Bentonville, um, Arkansas. So that's up in Fayetteville. And that's about two and a half hours from where I'm at. You could fly for like 150 bucks round trip. Oh, wow. But it's oh. like a Sunday and a Thursday. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice. You know, Thursday to Sunday, Sunday to Thursday. So Fayetteville, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's Bentonville, Fayetteville. Uh, he's looking it up. Look at it. It's like, right, right, right. I think it's on Allegiant. He's looking it up. He's like, nah, 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 nah. now you have to pay like you know, hundred eighty-two dollars for your bag to get on there with you. But sure. oh, so it's the hopper. Yeah, <laughs> it's a, it's it's a airline. It's, yeah, probably. It's a budget flight. Yeah, I think it's Allegiant uh, Frontier May two. That's the cheaper flights, but all right. Yeah, it's awesome. That's how we get to Vegas. I either fly there or I go to Memphis and then fly over. Well, I need what a two week notice to have the cheapest flight, and then we're good. Yep, exactly. There you go. We're set. Yeah, yeah. Well, that will be. I've got to figure out when I can do that. So I've got to um, for straight shooter. It'll probably be July before I uh, record the video because I've still got to do the video for one too many. That's my new song. That's my birthday month. I there celebrate one month long. Perfect. I don't blame you. What's your What's your birthday? July what? Eighteenth. Eighteenth. So hang on, you're not quite a Leo. Cancer. What is cancer? My niece I'm is a uh, July six. I was trying to remember. I was like, what is she? Okay, yeah. I don't know very many July babies. It happens. It happens. You know. You guys are rare, I guess. Very. I, I, I thought maybe my oldest would be July. He's August 6th, though. Ah. And I have my daughter who's August. No, my daughter's August 6th. <laughs> my mom get my oldest is August 11th, and my youngest is August 31st. I screw it up all the time. <laughs> I blame it on the drugs they gave me in the hospital. <laughs> There you go. I know I got three daughters. You know, that's... I had two sons and a daughter. She's the middle one. Oh, yeah. She's Pamela. definitely the middle child. I can tell you that. She's definitely the middle child. I hear that. We can't get rid of her. What is it about November? It's my birthday. My well, birthday. Oh, your kids are born in August. No, I... Yeah. Well, so my what birthday. was it about it's November? Birthday. It's my birthday. Oh! oh. Birthday! Oh. And and my husband is four days younger than me, so he's he's December fourth, and I'm November thirtieth. November's the time. Oh, it, do the do the math. Well, I thought so. I thought my youngest. I thought he would have been September first, but he was August thirty first because my doctor. I did three C sections. Uh, the first one wasn't scheduled. I was induced and then had to have a C section. So the other two were C sections after, and I thought you know it's my two youngest are a year apart like a year and three weeks apart and I thought yes I'm gonna get out of August and I talked to my doctor and she said oh no I changed my uh, surgery day from Wednesday to Tuesday and I went that makes me have three August babies <laughs> August 31st thanks Dad. Yeah. I was like Dang, gum it!" she's like no so he'll be born at like you know eight o'clock <laughs> in the morning that's awesome oh my wah, wah, wah. Oh, I love it. <laughs> thought I was gonna get a sapphire nope Three pair does <laughs> green. There you go. That's a busy month for you. Yes, yeah, it is. And school starts, and that's also my anniversary this year. I'll be married twenty five years. Hey, so congratulations. congratulations! All right. Wow. Well, yes, Pamela, thank you so much. <laughs> we hard hard work. Uh-huh. work. We greatly appreciate. We you. love like, you. Always we actually thank you. Yes, yeah, we do. that's a true. Oh statement. man, we yeah. have too much fun with you. I mean, okay. Let's be honest. We just 
basically had the best time today. Period. <laughs> right? Yay, me too. Instead yeah, of an interview, yeah right? exactly. Yeah. Oh. And you guys, it's still probably daylight there, so it's getting dark here. Yeah. I'm yeah. two hours ahead of you, and I, I leave for work in 30 minutes. Oh, uh, okay. Well, let's. So we got 30 the, minutes to go. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm but good. We want to talk to you after, so we're gonna wrap this up. Get what this up? part over with. Well, not over with, but we got to wrap it up because we got, I got. Are you going to wrap it up? Yeah. Just keep talking. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much. Have a great day. A better tomorrow. And Pamela, like always, we love you. We love Love you. you.